Hello, good day. My name is Dr. Hans Berendes. I'm Dr. Rutledge's anesthesiologist, and I'm here today to talk to you about three different facets of our anesthesia that we use for our mini gastric bypass patients. Uh, the first part of our anesthetic um, that we uh, have been utilizing with great success over the past six months has been the utilization of low-dose uh, ketamine, and that drug is a drug that helps us to decrease uh, the amount of narcotics that are given during the surgery and after the surgery in the recovery room and then um, in the post-operative um, uh, stay. So we decrease the amount of narcotics that are used by using this drug ketamine and also we get a smoother, um, faster and better wake up with patients that are breathing faster, deeper and we're very happy with um, the utilization of ketamine in uh, the anesthesia um, practice. The next uh, medication I'm going to talk to you about is a drug called dexmethamine or Presidex. It is a drug that works on alpha-2 receptors or centrally acting alpha-2 receptors in the brain. This drug has been used over long periods of time in um, ICU settings for sedation for patients that are on life support or patients requiring mechanical ventilation. It is a great drug um, that provides amnesia, fantastic sedation. It does uh, keep the blood pressure lower in patients that have a history of hypertension. We're getting great results uh, utilize, utilizing the Presidex and also the combination of Presidex and ketamine for decreasing post-operative narcotics. Some of the benefits of a decrease in post-operative narcotics are there's a decrease in uh, urinary retention, there is much better awareness, there's better uh, ability to take deep breaths, inspiration, expiration are improved, respiratory rate are improved by these medications because we don't have to use respiratory depressions, depressants such as narcotics. And patients uh, overall do better in the recovery room and also in uh, the post-op setting when they return to their um, hospital uh, rooms. The other uh, facet or uh, aspect of the anesthetic that we want to discuss is the, the, the lack of muscle relaxants. That we have eliminated uh, muscle relaxants in um, patients during the operation. Muscle relaxants are generally and commonly used by anesthesiologists to maintain the anesthetic and to keep the patients very still and to uh, paralyze their muscles so that the surgeon can visualize uh, the surgical field and operate more effectively and efficiently. We um, have been avoiding muscle relaxants now for approximately a year in uh, Dr. Rutledge's practice and we have found that in the mini gastric bypass patient population, we have been avoiding muscle relaxants to great benefit and the benefits are many fold. The first benefit of de uh, decreasing or completely avoiding muscle relaxants in the um, mini gastric uh, bypass patient is that patients um, wake up with, uh, without any utilization or any dosing of uh, medications that reverse the muscle relaxants. So we don't have to give reversal agents such as neostigmine. And these medications can cause bronchospasm and also can trigger vomiting in about 50% of their patients. So we're decreasing the, uh, uh, the nausea and uh, the emetic effect of these drugs by number one, not using muscle relaxants, and then we don't also have to use the um, reversal agent um, for the muscle relaxant. So these are all really positives and benefits uh, that we're seeing in uh, Dr. Rutledge's patient population. Patients are doing much better after the mini gastric bypass. Uh, they're waking up better, they're requiring less medications, they're more cognitive of their surroundings, they're doing better when they return to the um, hospital rooms, and they're also doing much better in the recovery room. They're also requiring a lot less anesthetic. And overall, uh, we have made a lot of these adjustment, adjustments to uh, progress to uh, uh, the uh, setting where we call ambulatory surgery. An ambulatory surgery setting is, is where pay, uh, we use a, a highly select uh, patient population which is selected uh, specifically for um, age and what we call comorbidities or any other underlying uh, medical problems that unfortunately are triggered or associated by obesity. And so as we evolve to the ambulatory surgical setting, we are making adjustments and changing some of the anesthetics to get faster, smoother, safer, and overall better wake-ups with less nausea and less pain. Thank you very much for uh, listening to uh, my video this afternoon. Thank you. I like it.